Hi babe, and in today's video, you're gonna learn how to do a forearm stand in just 10 minutes. I'm giving you my best strength and conditioning exercises, plus all of my secret tips so that you can get up into your forearm stand. Let's begin here in a downward facing dog. Really get into your body. We're gonna be doing a lot of great strengthening moves. So this is a video that you can come back and do over and over again, and you're gonna get stronger every time. Let's lift up the left leg into a three-legged dog and just bend the knee, open up the hip, warming yourself up if you're not warm up yet and bend the knee and bring it back down. Let's lift up the other leg. Just moving really organically within your own body. Bend the knee, open up the hip, allowing yourself to connect. Feel the hands on the floor, feel your feet on the floor. And take a few deep breaths right here. Lift up onto your toes, roll forward into high plank pose, and then roll all the way back to downward facing dog. One of the best exercises here, good. Do it again to really open up the spine, the legs, connect breath to movement. Nice, back to downward facing dog. Roll forward, last one right here. Now we're gonna hold high plank pose. We're gonna go into shoulder shrugs, allow the body to sink down, push the floor away all the way up, good, and then sink down and push the floor away. So the shoulder blades are moving, they're coming together and then they're separating. This is one of the best exercises you can do to gain that range of motion in your shoulders and strength in your arms, lats, shoulders. It's amazing, good, a few more times and then back to downward facing dog. And if you didn't know, I have a whole 30 day handstand program. I'll leave the link down below for you. Now let's do that again. Come up high onto your toes, high plank pose. And then we're gonna lower down onto our elbow. So now we're gonna do the same thing, shoulder shrugs in our forearm plank, lower and lift, lower and lift. Really focusing on allowing the shoulder blades to come together and then separating as you push the floor away. This is to help you understand your range of motion and gain strength in your shoulders. Beautiful, hold on to that core the whole time, belly squeezes up and in, good. And then we're gonna walk our toes all the way up into a dolphin pose. So holding here in our dolphin pose, the goal here is to get your ears in line with your upper arm bones. Nice, so this does require a lot of strength, a lot of flexibility, so work your way up towards this pose. Nice deep breathing here. And then we're gonna lift the left leg up and hold for a couple of counts. So hold the left leg, just holding, and then lowering down. Let's switch sides, lift up the right leg, hold. Just notice what happens in the body. Try to square off the shoulders and hips, and then lower the leg down. Let's do that again. Lift the left leg up towards the sky, all the way up, holding here for just a moment or two, and then lower it down, switch sides, lift it up, and hold and then lower it down. Beautiful, now press all the way up into the hand so that you end up in downward facing dog. Good, holding here. Lots of upper body work today, obviously to get yourself ready for our pose. Okay, now come on down to your knees, shake it out. That was a lot of work there. Okay, now we're going to move into some core work. Pull the knees in towards your chest, reach the arms forward, and we're gonna lay all the way out and then come back in. So boat pose all the way up and out. This is a great one for really engaging those lower, lower abs because as you know, you need a lot of core work in order to get upside down. Good, shoulders are nice and open. Squeeze the ankles together, squeeze the inner thighs together. Keep going. Nice, and then place the feet down. See if you can stand all the way up right from there. Did you make it? Good job. Now we're in chair pose, bringing the hands together and then stand all the way up. Beautiful work. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up overhead and then take a nice forward fold release through the body. Place the hands on the floor, step back into high plank pose, hold here, and then lower down all the way into your chaturanga to upward facing dog, and then to downward facing dog. Just take a nice big deep breath in, and exhale. Inhale, let's lift up onto the toes, roll forward into high plank pose, lower down into chaturanga, and then to upward facing dog. Good, squeeze the shoulder blades together there. Use your core to press back to downward dog. And again, lift up high onto the toes, but this time we're gonna walk it all the way forward so that we end up in a nice forward fold here, releasing the head, shaking out the legs. And let's take a twist. Place the right hand down, left arm up towards the sky. 
Right knee is bent, left leg is straight, and then let's switch to the other side. We do need a lot of flexibility in the back of our bodies in order to achieve that pose, so this is helping you do that right here. Let's take our hands, let's clasp them behind our back. Again, we need flexibility also in our shoulders. So clasp the hands behind you. Notice I'm bending my knees to allow for more range of motion in my shoulders. And then if you can straighten the legs, go ahead and do that. And then allow the hands to just be heavy. Just really let gravity pull the hands down, the shoulder blades down, good. And release that, place the hands back down onto the floor. Step it back into your downward facing dog. And now we're gonna do one of my favorite exercises for the upper body. We're gonna lower down into dolphin and then rise back up into downward dog. Good, lower, lift, lower, lift. Keep going just like that. And remember, you're building strength. So do as many reps as you can. And then tomorrow, you'll be able to do another rep and then the next day, another rep. So just know that you're building your strength with every rep. Nice, so let's hold here in our dolphin pose now. Make sure that the upper arm bones are by the ears. Now we're gonna take little walks towards our face and then back. So you're just trying to get up as high as you can onto your tippy toes, noticing that my hips are going over my shoulder. So that's really what we're trying to do is getting ourselves prepped for feeling comfortable with the shoulders and the hips in one line. So walk all the way up, all the way up onto your tippy toes and then walk back to dolphin. Nice, walking all the way up, 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 up. Just noticing how that feels. Keeping the forearms pressed down onto the floor so they are parallel to one another. Nice, now from there, see if you can then lift one leg up and just rocking forward and back onto your toes. Again, just getting yourself used to being in this alignment. Eventually we want foot, hip, shoulders and elbows all in one line and this is prepping our body to get used to being in this position because our body likes to be in poses that it's familiar with and so this is exactly what we're doing prepping ourselves so that when we do kick up it feels much more natural and easy nice place that foot down lower into a sphinx pose i know it's a lot a lot of work there but having this journey of going upside down is one of the greatest journeys you can go on of connecting with yourself, of strengthening your body. Good, now let's place our hands behind our head and we're gonna do back crunches. Lifting up, lowering down, lift up, lower down. My feet are squeezed together and I'm still even using my abs here. We need a tremendous amount of back strength to do these upside down inversions. Good, so keep going, elbows are wide, shoulders are out of the ear, so make sure that you're relaxing those upper trap muscles. Nice, let's bring the hands behind us, lift the chest up higher, lift, 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 reach for your toes, and then see if you can now grab onto your hands behind yourself. Good, taking that shoulder stress again here on our stomachs, and then release the hands and lower down. That is a lot of back work, I know. So take a little breather. And let's do that again, reach up, reach for those toes. Remember to lengthen out through the top of the head and out through the toe. So you're trying to get longer as you do this. Now grab those hands, clasp them together, lift up higher. You can use a towel here if you need to. Keep holding and then release, reach those arms back towards the toes and then come all the way down, nice job. And lift yourself all the way back up. Okay, now it is finally time for us to practice and try out our elbow stand. Good, so place the elbows down onto the floor, forearms are parallel to one another, and I'm gonna walk my feet all the way up. Now just begin by lifting up. So notice how I didn't hop, I didn't kick, I didn't move around. I just rocked as far forward as I could on my toe. So I get as close as I can, and then I just begin to rock, and my foot just lifts up because my body just tips over towards my shoulders. And then once you do that, you can practice bringing the legs together, thinking of creating this nice straight line, squeeze the inner thighs together, use the abs, good, and then slowly lower down. So practice that on your own. So now, right now I'm gonna show you what not to do, okay? So if you look here, don't try to just kick up and just hope for the best, right? You don't wanna just flail your legs around at all. You wanna make sure that you are using your toes. So I'm going onto my very tippy toes and I'm just rocking very gently. There's no momentum. It's all weighted evenly throughout my body. And then from there, 
You can get fancy with the legs and see what feels good for you, see what you can do, but I highly recommend getting just that straight position first, the up and down position first. Take a little breather and remember to be patient. I also have a 30 day handstand course that'll teach you everything you need to know so you can do your forearm stand, handstand, and headstand. So I'll leave that link down below. Let's do this one more time. So place those elbows down, let's try it again. So I'm gonna rock up high onto my toes and then I just tip over and it's just super easy and simple. There's nothing erratic going on and that keeps the body really safe so that you don't jerk and pull or push anything or anything like that. And of course, if you need a wall, you could do this against a wall so you can have a little backing there, but squeeze those legs together. Once you get up to the top, point the toes, feel that long line happening through the whole body and come down. You did amazing job. Thanks for joining me. Great, great work. We're going to take a nice shoulder stretch here. This one feels so good. And I packed a lot of information in here. So make sure you come back and do this video again and again, and you're going to get stronger every day. Make sure that you hit that like button and subscribe, turn on notifications so that you don't miss anything. And then check out these other amazing yoga videos that I have for you here on my channel. Comment down below. Let me know how you liked it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.